Welcome back to Square Off. Kelly Ward pulled off a surprising upset last weekend, winning the leadership of the Arizona Republican Party. The pro-Trump conservative and two-time loser in a U.S. Senate primary was carried to victory by grassroots activists who had a long list of grievances against former chair Chairman Jonathan Lines. So will Kelly Ward's brand of politics help or hurt the GOP in a big election in 2020, or does the statewide chair even matter? Joining us for our left-right debate, Julie Erfley, Democratic communications consultant at Erfley Con Uncuffed, and Barrett Marson, Republican co consultant at Marson Media. Barrett, I'll start with you since this is your party. What does Kelly Ward bring to the table as a Republican chair? Well, one thing, Bram, you said, uh, you know, drink some orange juice because, uh, you know, to celebrate. Now put some vodka in it. Um, you know, uh, it's going to be an interesting two years. Uh, uh, Kelly Ward has to do a lot to unite the party, if you will, uh, a party that she has done a lot of bomb throwing in. So she is going to have to reach out to the business community and start talking to them about her plans for the next two years. She's going to have to, you know, stop with the petty stuff. She may even have to gas, you know, reach out to Martha McSally, our Republican senator, to do everything she can to re-elect or to elect her in 2020. I can imagine Martha McSally's gasp as she saw Kelly Ward elected. What do you think is going through Martha McSally's mind right now as she has to as she's preparing for a 2020 election? Well, she's likely thinking, how do I avoid the party? I mean, I, I think one thing that Kelly Ward has shown is that she doesn't really put aside grievances. She tends to hold on to them. So I have a hard time believing that Kelly Ward's going to be out there stumping for Martha McSally. Maybe she will. I don't know. I think what you really see from this chairmanship are a lot of people saying, well, congrats to the Democrats because she's really her brand of radicalism I think is going to convince a number of moderate Republicans to take another look and so the Democrats as they, as they cheered say. the Democratic Convention was going on as she was elected there were cheers does she I, help or is it just the fact she's there to help Democrats in some ways just the fact I think she's she there. helps in the sense that she is the the spokesperson now in the face of the Republican Party whether people want to believe that or not and she's had such radical views I mean she went on Alex Jones's show and stumped for him this is a guy who's being sued by parents of murdered children because he bullies them. That's just craziness. I mean, she's like mainstreaming radical she stuff. She will be a little bit of a face for sure, but Bram, outside of you know, your intelligent viewers, really who knows the party chair of either party, you know, in the general public. But, you know, again, it's she's going to have to do a lot of work to, uh, to show that she can effectively run a state party. Okay, yes or no? Will Kelly Ward stick around through her full term in 2021 or run for something else before that? Yes or no? No, I think she sticks around. She oh, sticks yeah. around. I think she sticks around. Not running I for mean, anything else. I, I mean, can I get her to run for something else? Is that, <laughs> can, I get, can I entice her somewhere? You have to have somebody leave office or maybe <laughs> not. All right, when we come back, Republican lawmakers block a vote to throw Representative David Stringer out of the House. Did they do the right thing? Plus, why you couldn't stop tweeting about last week's show. Stay with us.